Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. Morgan's with me. And Morgan, what makes coffee better? Freshness. Freshness? Grinding it fresh. Grinding it fresh. Right? That's right. So if you're doing drip, you know, pour over, uh, press, grind it fresh, so it's going to be a lot better. So we're going to take a look at three lower cost uh, burr coffee grinders. Don't use blade grinders for your coffee, okay? Uh, but so what we have is the Bodum Bistro, the Capresso Infinity, and the Cuisinart CBM 18. Um, these right around $100, give or take a few. Um, so come on in, we'll take a look. These are all burr grinders. Again, don't use blade grinders. I'm going to take the hoppers off here. We'll talk a lot. We're going to grind with them. Um, so here's that, and they're all conical burrs. So you can see there's the burr. This is the top burr, the inner mm -hmm. burr, and on the uh, bottom, over on the Capresso Affinity. Pretty similar. We've used this one a little bit. You can see the coffee in there. Yeah. And they do give you a little, a little brush with this one. Keep it clean. Keep okay. it clean. Conical burr, about the same size, and coming over to the Cuisinart, it's about the same size again. We got about the same burr in all three. Okay. Um, what are the differences? So biggest difference, one right off the bat. So grinding coffee fresh, so it's you know it's going to make all the difference in the taste of your coffee. But the big difference is, and I'm going to just put these all back together here, line up a little bit is the speed at which the three of these grind. And I've got a favorite <laughs> for good reason. So I'm going to turn each one on. We will grind actual coffee with it. But just listen. OK. Hear that one. That's the bottom. Go over to the Capresso. This one turns much, much slower OK, than the bottom does. And the Cuisinart. I mean. You can see that burr spinning in there, right? Mm -hmm. That is super fast. So what happens when you grind coffee, um, it's going to get heated up. The faster the burr spin, the more heat you're going is going to be transferred into your ground coffee. And when you heat the ground coffee, it's going to evaporate those aromatics off of there. So, uh, Might lose a little flavor. Yeah. yeah. And you can see on the Cuisinart, they put a little bit more money. They have like a little digital display screen here. As you adjust the grind, it actually gives you an indication, which is kind of redundant to all the indication that's right here. But, mm -hmm. And on this one, then you can also um, give it a number of cups that you want to do here, that's neat. which could be handy. Um, you know, you want a little more dough, so you can just up the number of cups. Over on the uh, Infinity here, they've put their money into that burr spin slower because they have a gear reduction system going to the burr. Um, so they spent some money to do that. Um, you still do have a timer here, so it's pretty simple. You just turn it, and it grinds for that time. Um, we have the same thing over on the on the bottom with a timer, although you just set the time once here, and then press the button, and it goes. Okay. And you can stop at any time just by pressing the button again. Um, all three of them do adjust the grind the same way here, and you've got some indications from course up for press down mm -hmm. to. I like the little pictures that they use there for yeah. espresso and and drip and French press. Now, how many grind settings does each grinder have? Well, you've got uh, one, two, this one's just kind of, it's very, it's, it doesn't have any real stops. So you can kind of adjust it just a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. On the Infinity, it's kind of got some click stops in there, okay, on mm -hmm. the Compresso. And that's got 17 grind settings. Okay. Um, over on the Cuisinart here, it's got 18, and you can hear the stops. So each one kind of has got a little stop mm -hmm. in it. And again, it does give you the indication up here. So maybe a little more adjustability on the bottom because you can go in between the markers there. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? I, I really think it's just it just turns a whole lot faster than the than the Infinity did. But, right. Um, also, it's kind of it's a little more plasticky feely up here. Mm -hmm. Um, it does have a glass, so when you grind, you're going to grind into this um, little, and it's a glass jar. On the Infinity and the Cuisinart here, it's it's kind of a plastic grind bin here that you're going into. Very large on this one. This one's got a lid on it. But let's get some beans in here and see what they do. Okay. There, a few on the Infinity. All three have very different looks. They so each kind of go along with, with the brand. You can kind of 
can yeah. tell without knowing which brand what. Yeah, Bodum stuff to, has know? that you know that bump on it, and it's not a pl it's like a softer plastic. Mm -hmm. It's not to, you know, which is kind of consistent throughout their out their line of products. But let's set the so we'll start um, all the way coarse, so like kind of a press grind on here, and see how it does. Now it does grind faster, but it is getting the coffee a little warm. Probably. So you can see there's our coarsest grind. That's like really up on around like what I'd use for maybe cold brew. Mm -hmm. Very coarse. Yeah. Uh, so let's dump that out. Let's see where we get if we go super fine. We'll go all the way to the finest. And these are right out of the box. Well, it's getting through it fine. Well, So that's that's pretty fine. Yeah, not bad. I mean, we'll that's you know. Espresso with that. Definitely. Yeah, that's probably about a, an espresso type grind there. Let's take a look at the Capresso Infinity here. We'll go all the way coarse. Stop that. There's its coarsest. It's fairly similar to, maybe not quite as coarse as the bottom. But that's, that's probably, you know, like a press grind right there. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that. And let's go all the way extra fine with it. And of course, we, you know what, we do that just a little bit more because we had a little leftover, left yeah. Now, for higher end espresso, I really wouldn't suggest any of these grinders. Um, Something like a prosumer machine. Yeah, you, like you probably wouldn't want to use it in one of those. Um, so yeah, we're pretty we're darn fine, fine there. Okay. You know, if you're if you're brewing on a lower cost espresso machine, maybe with a pressurized porta filter, these would probably suffice. Although you can do better, <laughs> without a doubt. Again, these are kind of like budget grinders and mm -hmm. for burr grinders. Um, so I'm just going to use the manual mode here. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> very loud. So again, it, that's kind of similar to the uh, Bodum there. Yeah. Where the we're getting very Bodum chunky. Bodum and Cuisinart have much uh, bigger grinds at their coarsest than the Capresso, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I definitely would say. Um, let me get that lid back on there. Let's clean this out a little bit. First, we're going to go all the way to the fine. Let's get rid of that so we can really make a comparison here. Okay. That's getting pretty darn, yeah, that's nice and nice mm -hmm. and fine. Yep. You know, you could definitely, that's like an, an espresso size. You know, a little finer than granulated sugar. Um, so again, you know, you could probably do espresso with these on lower cost machines. They're, you know, I wouldn't use it on a prosumer machine, you know, a real expensive one, but, uh, but certainly for drip and uh, pour over and press coffee, you know, these could definitely serve your needs. Um, again, I, I tend to favor the, the Capresso maybe a little bit because it grinds a little bit slower so I can heat your coffee up as much. Also, not nearly as loud as the other two. Yep, so, right. um, those are three, you know, budget kind of all-purpose grinders. And Morgan, where can we get them? You can get them at wholelattelove.com. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee? Brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.